please hit that subscribe button. Hey, everybody. Better suited to win the Stanley Cup. This is. If you are new to the channel, the Washington Capitals, the Boston Bruins. Locked out and he scores. And we're live. Hey, everybody. So yesterday, we talked about offense in the top and best and worst offensive teams in the NHL. Today, I want to switch that up and talk about defense. And we're going to, in this video, take a look at the top 10 defensive teams in the NHL and then take a look and see if those teams are playoff teams or not. And the correlation between having great team defense and being a great defensive team and making the playoffs or not. So before we start, I just quickly want to remind everyone to please hit that like button down below and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Both of those things greatly, greatly help out and are very, very much appreciated. So my last for the last videos, I used goals for per game rather than total goals for because teams have played a different number of games. This makes it an average and evens it make evens the playing field across everybody. Um, no matter how many games they've played. I'm going to do the same. We're using goals against per game as the metric for this. And the number one defensive team in the NHL right now is the Dallas Stars, giving up 2.45 goals per game. Um, absolutely outstanding defensive team down in Dallas, giving up less than two and a half goals. This day and age in the NHL, where we've seen offense really come back up over the past three years or so, uh, is just absolutely remarkable, and they are getting great defense and goaltending, and they don't score a lot. They are one of the 10 lowest scoring teams in the NHL, but they it doesn't matter because they play so well defensively, they don't give up goals. So Dallas in very good shape. Number two is the Columbus Blue Jackets, giving up just 2.51 goals against per game. Um, another outstanding, outstanding number there. Great, great team defensively. And another team in a playoff spot um, that doesn't score a whole lot of goals. They do not have a high-flying offense, but they don't give up goals. So if you can win games 2-1, to one, you can still win games in the NHL. Tied for second, uh, next up is the Boston Bruins, who, much like Columbus, have a 2.51 goals against per game. Uh, they Boston all season long has been one of the top teams in the league. Now Boston does score quite a bit. They are one of the top 10 scoring teams in the league. They're also one of the top 10 defensive teams in the league. And I think that shows just how good all around the Bruins have been this year and why they're a first place team, why they're leading their division and why they're one of the Stanley Cup favorites heading into the playoffs. Number four, we have the Carolina Hurricanes giving up 2.64 goals against per game. Uh, really, really good number there. Carolina over the past two years has improved so much as a team, and most of it is defensively. This was a team that really, you know, had, the, had some good offensive players and could score, but defense for all those years that, that Carolina was bad and near the bottom of the league, it was defense and, and goaltending and keeping the puck out of their own net that was holding them back. That's not the case anymore. They've got one of the best defense cores in the NHL. They're getting very good goaltending from Peter Morazic and quality, a quality backup for, in uh, James Reimer. And, and Carolina is one of the top five defensive teams in the NHL this year. Number five, we have the Arizona Coyotes at 2.65 goals against per game. Absolutely uh, one of the top defensive teams uh, along with all these others but they're, they're another one of those teams like Dallas and Columbus who don't score a lot of goals but it doesn't really matter because if you don't give them up then you're still able to win games and Arizona has certainly been able to do that this season. Um, next is the New York Islanders at number six actually tied at number five with 2.65 goals against per game. Uh, the same as the um, Coyotes, Islanders for the past two years now under Barry Trotz have been known as a top defensive team and they are that once again this season. Um, it, it, this looks, everything we're seeing from the Islanders this year pretty much looks like what we saw from the Islanders last year. Limited offensively but extremely good goaltending and defense and, and they just find ways to win close games and if they continue to do that uh, that they're going to be a threat again in the playoffs this year, much like they were last season. Number, at uh, number seven, we have the St. Louis Blues 
2.68 goals against per game. Uh, defending Stanley Cup champions Jordan Binnington having a Vesna level season in his first full NHL season. Uh, they've just been outstanding. Absolutely no Stanley Cup hangover from the St. Louis Blues. Uh, they, they've they've been firing on all cylinders pretty much this entire year, uh, leading the Western Conference and and doing it rather convincingly. Number eight, we have the Pittsburgh Penguins at 2.72 goals against per game. Uh, Pittsburgh this season, man, what a bounce back year for Pittsburgh. This was a team that um, I really saw decline in last season. I was not at all surprised when they got swept out in the first round of the playoffs. And, and I this was a team that I, I was really worried about going the other way. But they've come back this season with... Not that big of a difference in their lineup, but a whole different attitude. They're playing much better in their own zone. I um, think that overall, you know, they've had all these injuries. They're still grinding. They're still finding ways to win. They've, they've gotten really good contributions from their depth players. And, and this is a team that is just so resilient and has overcome everything all year long. They're having a, getting a great season in goal from Tristan Jarry, who's really taken over the starting job from Matt Murray. Um, Jerry's been outstanding and went to the all-star game, which he did deserve. And um, Pittsburgh is once again one of the top teams in the NHL and a legit Stanley Cup contender. At number nine, we have the Tampa Bay Lightning at uh, 2.86 goals against per game. And the Lightning, I mean, man, this is a team with a high-flying offense and that keeps the puck out of their net. And that's why they're one of the best teams in the league. Uh, we know Tampa Bay had a bit of a slow start this year. Um Definitely uh, not the first two months of the season that we expected or they wanted to have. But man, have they turned it on here the last six weeks or so. Climbed all the way up from out of the playoffs into a second place in the Atlantic Division. Give kind of, you know, Boston's eight points up right now, but they still have to play each other multiple times this season. And Tampa Bay, I believe, has three games in hand on the Bruins, or at least two now. So. Um, you know, games in hand, matchups against the Bruins, they could still potentially take that division lead away from Boston. So Tampa um, really, really looking good here recently. And at number 10, we have the Washington Capitals at 2.88 goals against per game. Um, they, they are, you know, they're the best team in the league this year. They're once again a full-on Stanley Cup favorite and contender. And uh, the, the defense is there for them. Uh, Ilya Samsonov's come in and looks like a young goalie of the future for the Capitals. And I think he very likely will be the goalie of the future with Braden Holpe being a pending UFA. Um, you know, I just, there's, there's really no holes in the lineup down in Washington. And they are one of the top defensive um, teams in, in the NHL. And it's interesting, looking through this now, uh, th these are your top 10 defensive teams as far as giving up goals. The Dallas Stars, Columbus Blue Jackets, Boston Bruins, Carolina Hurricanes, Arizona Coyotes, New York Islanders, St. Louis Blues, Pittsburgh Penguins, Tampa Bay Lightning, and the Washington Capitals. All 10 of them are in a playoff spot right now. All 10 of them. That's different. I, they, you say, you know, defense wins championships and what's more important, being strong defensively or being strong offensively. Top 10 goal scoring teams in the league, 7 out of 10 um, were, were playoff teams. Three of them were not playoff teams. Defensive teams, best defensive teams in the league, all 10 of them are playoff teams. And there's a, there's a few that cross over. Uh, a few are good at everything, Boston being one of them. I believe the Lightning were on that list as well. Pittsburgh, Washington. These are teams that score a lot of goals and don't give up goals either. Um, but yeah, d defense is extremely important. Keeping the puck out of your own net, I think, is the most important aspect of the game um, for to win at the NHL level. You cannot give up a lot of goals and expect to make the playoffs. Or even if you do sneak into a playoff spot, maybe you score just that many goals, a la the Florida Panthers this year, you're not going to go far in the playoffs giving up a lot of goals. It just doesn't happen. Those running gun, high-flying teams are usually out in the first round, second at the latest, while your teams that go on Stanley Cup runs or uh, you know, Eastern Con or, you know, Conference Final runs are teams like St. Louis and Boston and Washington and Tampa Bay and, and teams like that that keep the puck out of their own net. And there's no, 
You know, there's a reason why they're successful, and there's a reason why a lot of these successful teams are the top ten defensive teams in the in the NHL. So, um, yeah, it's I, defense is just is so important, and not giving up goals is so important at the NHL level. So you know, you don't have to score a ton. Look at the Stars. Look at the Blue Jackets. Look at the uh, the Arizona Coyotes. These were teams that are bottom 10 in the league in goal scoring, but their defense is so good and they give up so few goals that they're still able to win games and be in holding a playoff spot. And in the cases of, uh, you know, particularly Dallas, like they're, they're, I think, a highly touted team heading into the playoffs that a lot of people think could make a serious run. So, I, you know, I think it's more important to be good defensively than be good offensively. And I think we're seeing this that, you know, sure, scoring goals is good, but you can score goals and still not be a playoff team. If you want to, you know, if you don't give up goals, if you're, if you're you know, near the top of the league as far as not giving goals up, you're probably going to be a playoff team like 99% of the time. And that's what these numbers are showing. So with that... Like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon and merchandise store are down in the description as well. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you guys soon.